We're Sean and Ash, and for the past year, we've been turning this 27-foot school bus into our first home. On wheels, that is. We demoed the whole thing and got a little creative at some points. As we near the end of this tiny home build, we're so excited to share our journey with you on our travels around the Americas. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Hey, I'm here at the bus. I hope you can hear me, okay? Me and Ashley are gonna, well Ashley's not here actually. She went to go visit her sister in Orlando. I'm going to install our outdoor shower. I'm gonna cut a hole in the side of the bus. Boom. And we'll be able to have showers in the great outdoors. Another cool thing is it's right underneath one of those windows that come out. Uh, we'll be able to like, hopefully maybe hang a curtain or something. I'm not really sure yet. What I'm gonna do is take a cardboard cutout of the hole I need to cut in the side of the bus. Show you exactly where I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna be located in our bathroom, right under our sink. Let's do it. Another thing I'm having to consider here is the hangover. We need these to be overlapping with the metal so we can screw into it. So it seems to be a one and a quarter inch overlap, so when I'm putting this on the side of the bus, which is right here, I have these ribs. Most likely gonna have to take off, but it's gonna sit right here. And then that inch and a half overlap is gonna be obviously here all around the sides. I'm gonna trace this and then trace how big it's actually gonna be. literally melted that uh, insulation. I guess it's not great for fires. It would just melt away. I'd almost rather kick it from the other side. Oh, shoot, did I miss that? I mean, looks great. The only thing is it doesn't sit flush here. So I think I can cut it a little more on the bottom and it'll sit like right above this lip and then it will be able to clear this and I can just silicone around it. I'm like winded, geez. I started just taking off what I need to for now to get this thing to sit in there and not have any stickies in the way. This thing is not uh, the best tool for this, but this is old faithful. I mean, this thing's gotten us through so many hard times, but this is how it's gonna sit. Fits in there great. I mean, really great. Question is, do I wanna use rivets or self-tabbing screws? They both work. These go in nice, you know, they fit good. These also fit pretty well. What I'm gonna probably do is go with the rivets first and just cause they're a little cleaner. If they don't work, the rivet holes are a little smaller so the self-tapping screws will still catch if these don't work. So I'm gonna try the rivets first, but I'm gonna drill some holes. I should probably take these rivets out, huh? Let me see where it sits. Okay, so I've decided I'm not gonna take out those rivets under here. It doesn't overlap the um, ribs here. So in order to keep that rigid, I wanna keep those rivets in there. If I just put a bead of silicone around it, it'll work fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean this up a little more first, get some acetone and wipe it down. Blue is nasty. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drill the holes.
So forgive the mess in here. Oh, it's a construction site. Check this out. Got a brand new, well not brand new, it's used. Stainless steel sink for 40 bucks. And this is an absolute steal. Just have to get a new drain for it. Got it on let go. I plumbed in the lines for our outdoor shower. Um, just the female shark bite fittings. Used a wrench to put it on. Put some Teflon tape under it to seal the threads. And then we have another T coming out here. And we'll have another one there for the actual bathroom sink. Yeah, it's a pretty simple install. And now we can take showers outside. So that's exciting. So that's going to be it, guys. We've got a lot of projects going on right now. I'm building the door for the propane. I need to do some painting on the roof. But thanks for, you know, stopping in this week. If you guys have anything that, you know, you want to see on the bus or you want to see us do on the bus, drop a comment below. We'll do our best to make that happen. Uh, next week, I'm hoping we'll have more Ashley involved because she's just so beautiful. She's in the office right now working on the video. Jackson's here. I'm going to head back to the bus, so catch you next week.